Hi, my name is Sean Mazarone, co-founder of the Duma Group at Compass. I'm here to answer the question, if prices are going to go down. It's a given that nobody has a crystal ball and can see the future, but here's my prediction based on the variables in the market that we're seeing now. A lot of variables at play here. Last year, we saw a record-breakingly sharp rise in interest rates. There's a possibility of an ongoing banking crisis, and we're coming off of an extreme swing of markets from the lows of 2020 into the highs of 2021, and then a return down. On the face of it, those factors seem like they should offer us price reductions in the future. But this is what we need to consider. Right now, interest rates are between 6.5% and 7%. 90% of current homeowners have interest rates that are under 4%. So this fact is strongly discouraging current homeowners from selling their properties. Because once they do, they're going to enter into the buyer side of the market. And if they're financing, they're going to have to take a much higher rate than the one that they have now. So this has tightened up supply. And I believe it's going to stay this way until the circumstances of the market change. So getting back to our original question, will prices go down? Not for the foreseeable future because the supply is so much tighter right now than the demand. There's also extreme pressure right now on renters in New York City because the prices are sky high. So there are a lot of renters that are looking to own. So this combination of people getting frustrated by, the, by an expensive rental market and a limited supply based on an increase of interest rates and sellers not wanting to upgrade yet is creating a floor. So the prices are not going to come down um, so long as the market stays in this way. And personally, I think we could stay in this, in this spot we're in right now for the next few years.